Have you found yourself trapped in an unwanted open relationship with a woman that started out as some form of a monogamous relationship and recently has gone pear-shaped? Uh, the reason why I'm bringing this up is this keeps popping up. So many guys have been talking about this. Well, not so many. It's not that common. But, uh, you know, people call it um, effectively being cucked. Um, or they say that they find themselves in an open relationship with their girlfriend or their wife uh, after it was monogamous. And then uh, she ends up sleeping with a lot of other guys and you're just supposed to accept that. Um, this is something that is becoming more and more comf uh, uh, more and more prevalent in our society due to women not wanting to settle down and want wanting to be able to sleep around as long as they possibly can yet they they want the emotional uh, protection the emotional feelings that you give them the the emotional uh, as like a backup plan as they want you to be their wet blanket that keeps them warm and protected from the world while they go out and play around um where when they would be monogamous with you in the past but modern day society has taught them that uh they have the ability to sleep around with as many guys as they want as long as they negotiate it with you i'm finding out that a lot of guys are are finding themselves in relationships where the girl asks for an open relationship so that she can sleep around and a lot of guys are accepting this and uh, I want to discuss that today I want to discuss what I suggest you do um, a lot of the guys that would find themselves in these type of situations are guys that have uh, have trouble I would say asserting themselves and, and not necessarily have a lot of experience with women uh, guys that uh, have trouble saying no I would say most men that uh, are quite disagreeable would never accept that um, like myself if my if I if I'm seeing a girl when she suggests an open relationship I would suggest open one way my way <laughs> I would not suggest um, I would not be able to tolerate or stand her sleeping with other guys and then coming and hanging out with me afterwards as if it's okay I would find that personally I would be disgusted by that to the point where I would have nothing but disdain for her after she did that now, a lot of guys that don't necessarily, they're, they're, they're living in this kind of scarcity sort of life where they don't necessarily have the sheer volume of options with women that they can be picky and they can have the relationship that they want. And I would say that that's not because there's anything wrong with you. It's not wrong, not that anything that you're doing wrong. Um, or there's anything wrong with you as a man, it's more that you just don't have the skills to go out there and find yourself more girls and have more options. And if you had more options, then you would, uh, you might hold on to the girl that you're, you're sleeping with at the moment. And eventually she would get a little bit frustrated that you're sleeping with hotter, better, younger girls uh, while she wants to go off and have her open relationship now guys that are playing and they have a lot of options are happy to happy to keep a girl like that on a roster uh, but they wouldn't get serious with her um, i would also like to remove guys that are, have like a fetish for cucks cucks i think they're, they're just called cucks or guys that have a fetish for cucking or whatever it's called uh, uh, these guys aren't in this conversation i'm more talking about Guy, these, these guys, the guys that have a fetish, they enjoy, I guess, seeing their girlfriend or wife sleep with another man. I'm not, I'm not talking about that type of guy. I'm talking about the type of guy that finds himself uh, in what he thought was a committed relationship with a girl, and that girl goes off and uh, sleeps with other guys, effectively cheating on him, 
uh, or they find themselves in some sort of an open relationship. Uh, there was a guy that I uh, met a while ago that is a very successful man. He's quite famous, actually, and he's one of Australia's richest men. Uh, but he's the, the mother to his children uh, is sleeping with other guys, and he's telling himself that that's okay when it's not okay and if you you get him to open up he expresses that it hurts that it's painful having to deal with his uh the mother to his children sleeping with other guys now if you find yourself in that situation uh my advice is that uh firstly that relationship is dead and you cannot fix it. And let me explain why. I've been in a situation where I had a girl, I was only 17, but I was like, I thought it was love, I was 17. She cheated on me. And um, I found out the guy, the guy was like, he was like six foot five, this basketball dude. And I approached him, I said, hey, look, you cheated on, uh, you slept, you, I don't think you slept with her. He just kissed her, but it was still bad enough. Um, you, uh, you made out with my girlfriend and you cheated on her with me or cheated on, cheated on me. She cheated on me with you and, you know, and he was like, well, what are you going to do about it? As if like, look down on me. I think if he, I think in, in the moment, if he had have just told me, look, um, sorry about that. I didn't mean to you know, make out with your girlfriend or, you know, it was her fault. I didn't really, I would have been, okay, that's okay then. That's fine. No worries. But he looked down at me like, what are you going to do, little man? I was like, I, I just bashed him. There was blood everywhere. Uh, big basketball player, never been punched in the face, learnt the hard way. And then after that, what happened was she, then I took her back and she knew she was only 17 the same age as me she learnt the hard way that that's not okay and she became very very compliant and a very good girlfriend at that stage the problem is after she had even just kissed another guy that made me just mistrust her forever and i had i learnt this contempt for her and no matter how nice she was and how quote unquote submissive and nice she was from that moving forward and committed to the relationship and hey I'm she'll, she'll let me know hey I'm going out and there's going to be some guys there I hope you're okay with it it just wasn't okay from then on and I never f forgave her for that and it was never okay with me and my argument is that a lot of you guys out there that find yourself in these uh open relationships that will probably be never okay with you too and if you find yourself in that situation you're thinking i just need to do something more to get a bit get it get yourself into a better situation or become more jacked or alpha and she's going to come around and turn around and um fall in love with me again and everything's going to be okay i would argue that you will never forgive her most men will never forget or forgive or truly trust her no matter what happens moving forward and that relationship is dead in the water and the first step is acknowledging that you're being abused right now allowing her to sleep with other guys it is an emotional it's, it's emotionally damaging you and i have this is anecdotal, but I've heard of people that are in long-term relationships, they get married and one partner is always kind of sleeping around and the other partner kind of knows, but it's kind of accepted within the relationship. The partner that gets cheated on, uh, it has a long-term emotional toll on them. Uh, this is anecdotal. This is also my opinion and what I seem to see in my own filter when I look at the world, the people who get cheated on and stay in that relationship die before the cheater dies because the emotional toll 
not only damages them emotionally, but it damages their body and they die younger. So if you find yourself in a relationship, I would argue that it's not only hurting your mental stability, you might feel a bit more lonely and you might feel like you're being abused and you might feel like not a, a real man. It's time to step away and move away and figure out how to get more abundance in your life. And if you are anything like the man that I was just talking about the man that is a wealthy man in Australia, has a lot of options. You don't need to be trapped in a relationship like that. You have a lot of options if you have even a middle middle class income um, in a Western country. You have a lot of options uh, and you just might, you're just not aware of all these options. I'm not rich. I'm not even middle class. I'll I'll rate myself lower class. <laughs> um, uh, but I have a lot of options, and I'm in my forties. I'm not even five eight, five nine, um, disabled, pudgy, uh, and I've got a lot of options. So imagine what you could do if you're in that situation and you find yourself trapped in a situation like that. You do have more options than you might think, and. Um, if you're a and if this made sense to you and you find yourself trapped go to the website and sign up and do some coaching with myself right now and um i would say that this is this is an important talk i i'm surprised i haven't made a video on this before but anyway uh check out the website if you want to uh solve that problem also you do some coaching with myself uh, i red pill the hell out of you I set you straight about everything that all of the pitfalls when it comes to dealing with women. I red pill my students hardcore and uh, I would argue it's worth the money. So sign up, do some coaching today and um, I'll see you guys in the next video.